You know, many people ask me the question, is there one moment that stands out above all the rest of all those years of documenting the fire service? And I gotta be honest with you, there's not one, but there are many. But when I think about the holidays, around the holidays and around Christmas time, there is one event that I'll never forget, and it was with a Christmas tree. That's what this story's about. I call it, there's nothing like an evergreen. Pine, spruce, fir, cedar, the list goes on. Their color stays year round in almost every environment. Some are green like this Norway spruce. Some have a blue-gray color like this blue spruce. They're great for landscaping and even for a windbreak. During the holidays, we bring them inside for a Christmas tree. Now, there's nothing like an evergreen, a live Christmas tree. In fact, we have a Christmas tree farm down the road from my house. You see, it's more about being responsible. Treat a real tree like a real pet. Water it daily. Watch it daily. And when brought inside and properly cared for, there's usually not a problem. But if not properly cared for, this is what can happen. Now, to be accurate, during the holiday season, most house fires are caused by electrical failures or malfunctions candles or heating equipment, not by Christmas trees. Christmas trees just don't spontaneously combust. The year was 1993, the early years of recording the fire service, and I was invited to a public education event for the media hosted by the fire department in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, the trees used in this demonstration had no water for one week. A dry Christmas tree puts off heat approaching 1,000 degrees in seconds. Look how fast. You're talking about 10 seconds, not quite 10. Think of a dry Christmas tree as a large gas can in your house. Talking about 15 seconds. If the tree is dry, an external source can ignite the tree like gasoline. Get it treated or make sure that you keep this tree in water. For the first time, I experienced that radiant heat given off by an evergreen tree. A few years after the press event, I had an opportunity to be a part of a controlled burn and with my local fire department in Bartlett, Tennessee. That was a great opportunity to light up a Christmas tree and get some real world video inside a house. Normally during my controlled burns, I would take the time to place a camera behind a wall of the room to be set on fire, or sometimes cut a hole in the wall, keeping the camera outside the fire room. This time for some reason, and since the room was really large, I was pretty confident that I could stay in the room and capture the inferno. I had my full turnouts on, an SCBA to breathe clean air, Nomex hoods to protect my camera equipment. I thought I was ready. I had a firefighter with me watching my back and full protective equipment and a safety team or two outside. And here's a little side note. This tree actually wasn't really a dry Christmas tree. This tree was still fresh. so. It took a little time to start the fire, which proves a very important point. A fresh Christmas tree, one that's well watered, is much safer than one that is dry. But during the process of starting a fire, things did begin to change. But our attempts to light the tree made the fresh Christmas tree not so fresh anymore. While the Christmas tree was being lit, I made one big mistake by taking my gloves off to operate my camera safely inside my fire protective camera covers, which was a no-no without gloves. After the ignition, I was surprised by the heat, but I felt secure in all my personal protective equipment. Everything was going well until the radiant heat in front of us and above began traveling down the wall behind us. And the firefighter behind me, if I remember correctly, he said, we need to get out of here, it's getting hot, I'm burning up. So grabbing my camera and not having my gloves on, my hands were exposed to that radiant heat as I left the room and the heat began to follow us. A lesson learned, a lesson that got me on national television at the time. Get out, get out, get him out, get him out. I've been to many fires and been inside of burning structures. The Christmas tree fire was unlike anything I experienced. I've often thought since that fire, if I had not had my personal protective equipment on, I would have been overcome just by the radiant heat in seconds. I would have never got out of that room. In fact, that fire was so hot, it burned clear through the ceiling, through the roof, and was venting out. 
And at that point, we let the house go. So the question is, should you have a live Christmas tree in your home? Well, that's your choice. If not cared for, this is what can happen. But again, a reminder, Christmas trees do not spontaneously combust. It's from some other source. So here's some things to remember. Dry is bad, moist is good. Water, water, water. Fresh cut means fresh cut. Cut off the bottom two inches of the trunk before you bring it inside. And be careful where you buy your tree. When purchasing, ask the question, how long has this Christmas tree been sitting on a lot? And when was it cut down? Keep it cool. Literally, keep it away from heaters, fireplaces, candles, or heater vents. And turn off your Christmas tree lights when you go to bed or even if you leave the room, and especially when you leave the home. And remove the tree from your house after the holidays. And remember, if you have any questions, talk to your local fire department. There's also some great safety tips online from various sources like the National Christmas Tree Association, National Fire Protection Association, U.S. Fire Administration, the list goes on. Also, find out about your local standards and ordinances when it comes to having a Christmas tree in your home. Contact your local fire department. You know, they're not only there for fire suppression, putting out the fires, but they're also there to provide public education and fire prevention. They want to help you, so contact them. Uh, drop by your local fire department and or give them a call on a non-emergency number and you can find out some details. And again, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something about it and you'll have a safe holiday season if you do have a living Christmas tree in your home. Remember, like, share, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching Emergency FD. Yeah.